up, y'all? Today we are going to make some miniature items for our miniature pets. Starting with this super popular plush bed. This is the one I bought for Bowie and it looks pretty simple. It's just like a donut with a pillow in the middle. For this project, I'm using an empty spool of ribbon, old socks, and a fluffy fabric. I start by placing the sock on my arm, roll it down to make that donut shape, push the spool into the center of the sock, cut a piece of faux fur, and I'm going to glue it right on top by gluing it down in the center first, then around the edges, pulling it to the back. I'm using hot glue, and I do need to be very careful that it doesn't go through the fabric onto my skin, because that is not fun. Here we go. Very carefully press it down in the center first, making sure we get into the corners, because we do want to see that rounded edge. Then pull the excess around the back and glue it underneath. And now we have a miniature plush bed. And if you want to take it a step further and clean up the back, cut a circle of black felt and then just glue it onto the bottom, enclosing any loose fur and stopping it from shedding. And now our pets have a bed to snuggle up in. It's good for dogs and cats. The next thing we need is a waterproof blanket. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've bought for Bowie. It's great for protecting the couch, the floor, any area where he might be. For this craft, I'm using a faux suede. It's really thin, kind of like a micro suede. And a Sharpa fabric. I don't have the dark gray, but I do have a cream. I cut a rectangle of the gray material. I place it onto the fuzzy fabric and cut a piece that is slightly larger than the gray. With good side facing good side, so a straight line going all the way around, leaving an opening, trim off the excess, flip it inside out, so the opening closed to finish the blanket. Now we can let our pets on the couch without a worry. One thing I've been wanting to make for Bowie is a snuffle rug or a snuffle mat. It's a little discovery area where you can hide treats and your pet has to search for them to enrich their mind. For this project, we are using fleece. I cut two rectangles of black. This is the fleece that we're using for the bottom of our mat. Stack them good side to good side, sew around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out. So the opening closed. And I'm gonna continue the line going all the way around so it's nice and flat. Take the other fleece and pay attention to which way it stretches. I wanna make sure it stretches to the sides. Using a ruler, I cut them into one and a half inch strips. Take the strips, place them on the mat, cut them to the length of the mat, find the center, place it right on the edge, then sew a straight line going all the way down so it is attached to the mat. Fold it over and push it to the side. Take the next strip, fold it in half, place it as close to the first one as you can and sew down the center. Repeat with the next strip until the whole mat is covered. Then take scissors and make small cuts going all the way down each one of the strips on both sides, being careful not to cut all the way to the thread. So it makes kind of like a fringe. Continue until they are all cut. Now we're just gonna mess it up a little bit, pull some of them, and it stretches it out. However, you wanna be careful that you didn't cut the fleece too thin because you can literally just pull it right off but these are pretty good. I made them probably a tiny bit less than a half an inch each. And we're just gonna pull them to try to make it look a little sporadic to complete our snuffle rug. Now that I know I can make one in miniature, let's make it again, only larger. This time I'm making it about the size of a doormat using the same black fleece. After it's been sewn and top stitched, 
It's about 25 by 17 and a half inches. I'm cutting the gray strips about three inches wide. Sew them on to the fleece mat right down the center. Make a cut about every inch to make a discovery rug for your life-size fur baby. I really like the way this came out. I am completely out of gray fleece now. Now we can hide a few doggy treats in it. I'm going to bury them because I want him to search for them. And watch Bowie find them. He's really using that nose. Look at him. Oh, he found one. Good job, Bowie. The only thing I would change if I was going to make this again would be to make the strips a little wider. I would make them five inches wide instead of three. And as he gets bigger, I'll probably make him a bigger one. Since this is all fabric, it is totally machine washable. Now let's make a few treats. I'm using cardstock, a heart hole punch, and glue. This one's pretty easy. All we have to do is punch out a couple of hearts, take the cutouts, apply glue to one side, place another heart cutout on top, then just repeat to get the desired thickness and make a very easy dog treat. Repeat to make more. I made a printable inspired by some of Bowie's favorite treats. Cut out the printable, take clear tape, place it on top of the printable, trim off the top and bottom, make small cuts in the tape at the middle on both sides, trim off the lower tape, bend it in the middle. We still have some tape on the sides. We're gonna just fold those over to make a little pocket for our mini treats. Make another one, leaving a tape tab at the top. I'm gonna cut some of this used paper into smaller pieces, crumble it up, make the pocket, leaving the top open, place the scraps of paper inside, then use the tape to close the top to make a closed bag of treats for our mini pets. And because they can't just eat treats all the time, we do have a bag of dog food. Cut out the printable, fold on the lines, so we have tabs on the bottom, and this should fold around to make a box. Overlap and glue down the side of the box first. Fold in and glue down the tabs at the bottom. Fold in the sides to make a bag. Use a tiny heart hole punch on cardstock. I mixed two shades of brown. Cut and fold the used cardstock. Place it in the bottom of the bag for a little filler. Then place the cutouts on top. Pinch and fold the top to make a bag of dog food where we can actually pour the food into a bowl. We can also stuff the bag with filler, then glue the top shut for a closed bag, giving us more options for our pets. For our next project, draw and cut out two four by three inch rectangles of foam board. Cut a few half inch strips and some quarter inch strips. Cut the quarter inch strips into three inch pieces. Make four, cover them with scrapbook paper. I'm using a printable paper from our blog. On one of the rectangles, I covered front and back. On the other, I only worried about the front. I cut the half inch strips into three and a half inch pieces and two and a quarter inch pieces. Glue the three and a half inch pieces between the quarter inch pieces. Take small bamboo skewers or toothpicks and paint them black. Allow them to dry, then cut and glue them going across the opening, evenly spaced. Glue on the two and a quarter inch strips to connect the two. Add more bamboo skewers across the back. Add the remaining two strips, making a framed opening. Glue it onto the covered rectangles of foam board with one on the bottom and the other on top to make a kennel table for the dollhouse. This side is open to make it easy to allow the dog to go in and out. However, if we want it to look like it's closed, just turn it around 
to the other side. Place it on the side of the couch to work as a coffee table and a dog kennel. Now, we don't want our little fur baby to be bored. So let's take some string and a bead, find the center of the string, make a little loop, push it through the bead, pull it out the other side, make a knot, separate the strings at the bottom, place another piece of string in the middle, and tie a knot. Then take the two new pieces of string and tie another knot. Cut the string so they're all about the same length, tie knots on the ends, unravel the ends to make a miniature pool toy inspired by Bowie's. So today we made a snuffle rug, dog food, dog treats, a kennel table, a pool toy, a therapeutic fluffy bed, and a waterproof blanket for the couch, which is not actually waterproof in real life, but it looks like the waterproof blankets for dogs. Giving us seven pet supply crafts for our miniature fur babies. And keep in mind, you may need to adjust the size of the kennel to fit your dog. Thank you for joining us for another seven crafts video. Let us know in the comments down below what quick crafts you would like to see next. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye